So today we're going to talk about the new Trek 520 Grando bike I just got. Uh, a couple add-ons and upgrades and talk about uh, different touring setups, bike packing setup options that I have. Uh, first ride, multi-day ride I should say. I'm hoping to get out uh, sometime next week for anywhere from three to five days. So let's get at it. Hey there, YouTube Joe here again. Very short video here today, talking about the bike, the Trek 520 that I just got uh, three days ago, and some of the changes and upgrades that I'm doing to it. Already I took off the stock pedals that came with it, basically a pair of cheap plastic pedals with toe clips and straps, and I put on my uh, Crank Brothers double shots, much nicer improvement, so you can ride clipped in on one side, or with regular shoes on the other side, best of both worlds. Got one water bottle cage on it so far, has mounts for three. I uh, took this off one of my existing bikes, and I'll take the other one off probably later today, put it on, two for now, add a third a little bit later. Uh, next up, as you can see, it comes with the front rack, nice heavy duty Bond Tracker rack, but no rear rack. So we fixed that. I found this at my local bike shop yesterday. The Bond Tracker back rack disc MIK. So we'll give you a little look at that. Nice, sturdy, heavy duty, and built for this specific bike. We picked that up yesterday. That was uh, $60. Picked up this little guy, the uh, Park pre glued Super Patch. I've used these in the past and they work really well. When I went to the bike shop, I was asking them for some tubes, trusted tubes for my wheels, which are 700C by 40C. The biggest they had in stock was a 28C, and that's just not going to cut it. I'm going to go to another local bike shop maybe tomorrow, see if they have tubes. I really want to have at least one spare tube before I'm going to go out on my tour next week. These for now at least gives me a little bit of insurance. And the next thing that I got was this here Cat Eye Padrone Cycling Computer. It's wireless, so I don't have to run any wires up the fork. And give you a look at that. Some of what this has is uh, current speed, average speed, maximum speed, trip distance, Total distance, moving time, clock, and stopwatch, all the standard stuff you'd expect. And what I really like about this, you notice I'm putting my glasses on here and there to read. Well, as I get older and my eyes get older, I want something with a little bit bigger numbers. Here's one of my old ones. And this, the screen size is substantially bigger. I can still see this with my eyes when I'm riding, but. This will be a little bit nicer. I want the bigger size, so I specifically got that one. These guys, these bad boys go for about $80. There will be a link down below in the description for this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get to all this stuff put on the bike probably later today. And do a few other things to it. Go for a test ride with some weight on it. And uh, get ready for some touring. My other option, back in the screen there in one sec. It's also my Burley Coho XC trailer, single wheel trailer. So I'm going to do some touring, uh, load the front panniers on the bike, maybe put something up here. I'll have the option of the panniers on the back. I have front and rear panniers, I have gears. And I also have the option of towing the trailer on the back. The trailer, in combination with the front gear setup, to balance the weight a little bit, that should work really well. That's probably what I'm going to do for next week's trip. Anyways, if you like this sort of stuff, you're into biking, hit the like button, Facebook comments down below, and if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.